Hey guys, Dr. Burke here. In this video, we're going to talk about the biggest barrier to weight loss, and that is fatigue. Here's the thing. If you're tired, you're not going to lose weight. Why? Because fatigue is not just about burning fat. It's about generating energy. Okay? So many people are tired in the day, yet they can't sleep at night. So the biggest reason why someone is tired, and there are other reasons, but the biggest one is that you're not sleeping. Okay, So I want to talk about how to fix the sleep. That's a real big point. Um, and just one point, um, when you're sleeping, you're triggering the growth hormone. That's the main fat-burning hormone, and that helps you. And that's why you burn most of the fat when you're sleeping, if you're sleeping. Okay. So the point is we want to get your energy up so you can burn more fat. But if you notice what happens when you sleep, there's actually a, a cycle, a wave of hormonal flows. They're called a circadian rhythm, okay, of growth hormone. And it's kind of similar to an alternator in your car where it's recharging the battery. And that's what happens. There's four cycles of sleep that you go through that are supposed to generate the deep delta wave sleep. So there's something in your body that pushes you deeply into the sleep. It's not a passive, it's an active thing that pushes you into the sleep. It's the same mechanism in your body that helps you recover from an injury, recover from exercise. So let's say you spike your pulse rate and it's supposed to come back down. There's a system that helps you recover. Okay, And that system is the recovery, it's the reset, it's the rejuvenator. All right, It's called, and this is, it might be a new word, called the para- sympathetic nervous system, okay? Like, that sounds like, what is the parasympathetic nervous system? It's a part of the body that helps you actively recover. It helps you push you into the sleep. There's a machine that I have that measures that. And a lot of times when people come in, we check them, and it's really, really low. And it's, it's a direct connection. They're, they're tired. And that means that they're not recovering from the day, from the stress, and they're not sleeping, okay? So even when you exercise... This is the system that helps you bounce back fast. And if you exercise and it takes you a long time to recover, you're not going to burn fat. So this is the system that we need to focus on to heal. So now let's go a little deeper and talk about how do we fix the parasympathetic nervous system. Well, first of all, what destroys that system is an overactive adrenal gland. It's a basically flight or fight, being in stress for, for a long period of time. That's what will do it. Okay. So the adrenal is really behind that. And if you're so flight or fight, which is basically the opposite of that system called the sympathetic nervous system, you're going to kind of nullify that parasympathetic. So you'll lose your ability to sleep, recover, bounce back from things. Okay? So there's a couple things you can do to fix that system. Number one, you can either do nutrition for the adrenals or you can do acupressure for the adrenals. Now, I put a link down below in the description, which I highly recommend that you watch, and I show you how to do acupressure for the adrenal glands. Okay, So you can watch that. And you're actually not directly doing acupressure on the adrenals. You're working on the soft tissue around the adrenals, which indirectly creates a nice relaxation effect for the adrenals. So it's going to help you. The other thing is the nutritional aspect. There's a product called Adrenal Night Formula. It's not a sleeping pill. It's an adrenal rejuvenator to help this system repair. You take one before bed, okay? So the combination of the acupressure and the nutrition is really awesome to fix the sleep cycles, okay? That's one thing. Now, once you sleep for a period of time, you're going to notice your energy is going to improve. You're not going to have as much fatigue. Then, at that point, then we plug in more and more exercise to start spiking the growth hormone. But you don't want to do that before you're sleeping. You can do long walks and things like that. But the goal is to have you sleep at night so you have energy during the day. It's very, very rare to find someone who has a lot of energy that can't lose weight. Most people that are stuck with weight loss are always fatigued. Okay? So the biggest weight loss barrier is fatigue, and the key is focusing on getting energy by enhancing the sleep, okay? All right, I will see you in the next video.